Hi Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. We're going to do your singles reading. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, do remember that if you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Um, yeah, and hey everybody in the chat. So this is a Virgo channel, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And do keep in mind some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take whatever fits for you and uh, leave the rest. So we're going to do this single spread. And um, I'm going to ask some different questions in this spread. So we're going to take a look at if, well, how you will know you're ready for a new relationship. What the characteristics, good and bad, of your potential lover how you will meet each other, what will be the characteristics or dynamics of this potential relationship, and the potential or possible outcome of it. Okay, so let's get started. So the first card is the Knight of Wands. So when asking how will you know, um, I feel like your passion and energy and drive will be at top notch as far as your desires go for wanting to be in a new relationship, okay? You will feel, um, some of you might be there already, some of you might not be, but you will feel free, okay? That feeling of freedom will come. You you will have a sense of being creative, that fiery, lust of, lustful passion will come back if you are feeling like that's not there at this time that energy will come back um, and I just feel like you will have this go-getter mentality like yes feeling positive and like this is gonna work for you okay and the lovers so yeah this is basically like being open and vulnerable um, that's how you, so the question is how will you know if you're ready for a new relationship you'll embody this energy Okay, so the lovers is like ready for a deep love, a deep partnership, and being capable of making a decision um, about love, All right? So some, and I kind of feel like that's showing up. So maybe in past relationships, you weren't really making good decisions either for yourself or you just were maybe swept up, Um by passions or overly swept up by ex like maybe physical attraction and things like that. I feel now here um, you'll know because you'll be able to decide about if this relationship is going to be right for you. Like not just one facet but all over and taking your time to make decisions about the person that comes into your life or somebody that you're getting to know, okay? Let me just get one more card to see how else you will know if you're ready for a new relationship, okay? King of Wands energy, so yeah, this falls right in line with the Knight of Wands. Um, so I feel like there will be this boldness within yourself, you know what I mean? Like you'll be uh, feeling courageous, powerful. So this kind of leads me to believe that maybe somewhere in the past you didn't feel this way about yourself. You'll have, you know, you'll be charming. Um, something will shift. Maybe you're going through a healing journey at this time and some of you might be regaining your confidence back to, um, you know, get yourself ready to put yourself back out there or put yourself in just a position to meet someone for yourself okay so this feels mostly like how the energy plays out is mostly about you you know how you will know what things you will feel um and with the wands energy this is all about your passions you know some of you are just like never dating again you're holed up in your house you're not socializing some of you just don't want to go back into that uh a dating pool or or meeting other people some of you maybe you feel like oh it's going to be the same thing again you don't want to keep repeating cycles but you know i always say um 
if you're going through this healing journey, that's great, but you're really not going to know how much you've healed until you're putting that into practice, right? Because it's very easy to heal and everything be light and easy and light and breezy in your life. If you're not socializing or talking to um, potential lovers, it's when you're actually face to face with someone and you're able to see the results of all the work you've put in, like you can't know until you get there, until you take that step. And that's a decision with the lover. So you'll get, you'll be ready when you begin to feel like, you know, that confidence, I can do this. I can, I can um, either put myself out there um, or accept offers, uh, ask for offers, accept offers, and just start that journey. Okay, um, so let's take a look and see what are the characteristics, good and bad, of your potential lover. Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the potential character? What are the characteristics, good and bad, of a potential new lover? What will be the characteristics? Okay. So, hmm, so characteristics, I mean, I'm going to give you like a whole all around kind of thing. The first thing that came to me, which I guess it's pretty typical is this person um, will travel, they travel a lot. Okay. Um, they may have horses. Um, but as far as like, characteristics like this person's character I feel like they possess this energy of um, someone who's a go-getter um, they they're an action and change kind of a person okay this person knows what they want in 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 a relationship um, they don't have any I always feel like the chariots kind of a fearless energy this person doesn't have any um, anything holding them back when they want something they they get into that cardinal mode and they go after it whatever it is in all areas but I also feel like very balanced kind of person they got that yin and that yang energy they understand what their weaknesses are and they understand what their strengths are um, as far as their weaknesses there can be a tendency at times where um, this person can I guess I want to say be withdrawn at times. Um, it feels, okay, so there could be a cancer for some of you, but it feels like they can be a bit withdrawn. Um, kind of, it feels like soft. It's not withdrawn like um, can't deal. It's more like um, they know when to make a move and they know when it's best not to. And that's what I mean. Okay, so this isn't someone that's uh, because it's the the white and the black horse. This isn't someone who is, I guess I want to say like go 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 all the time. They're very balanced with the chariot. Okay, um, let me see what else. I feel like they're giving you the good and the bad aspects. Okay, so in times they can be very open. And, you know, like with that white energy, open, ex an extrovert, and at other times it can be an introvert. Neither one of those are good or bad. It just feels like f something for you to understand that when, when they're going and going, um, it's a plus. And, and when they're retreating, you know, it's, it's a plus as well. It's uh, an energy of regrouping, okay? They might have like a mood shift at times. Um, okay. So this person, <laughs> they're very much a lover. I will tell you that. Um, very romantic with the Knight of Cups. Um, um, it's extremely romantic, extreme like emotion. They're very emotional person, very loving, patient, giving, nurturing, tolerant, uh, quite charming. Okay, um, very family oriented. This person believes in um, emotional commitment. Um, much, they have a lot of empathy. Okay, so we're getting some water energy here again. Um, supportive kind of a person. I feel like um, it's just like um, 
how can I explain this? It's it, it's not a hard energy. It feels like someone who's just very sweet and wears their heart on their sleeve. This is just someone who does not have a problem offering up their emotions and sharing that. Okay, and they're direct in their approach with that. Let's see what else? Okay. All right. So the Empress, this person is very uh well i did just said gives birth to new ideas they're there you know this is someone that loves children or they love being a parent or a grandparent this is someone who um they sit in a place of abundance i'm not really seeing much in the much in the way of like negative characteristics although i'm sure they have them everybody does i think if i could say anything um they may have a tendency towards um, dependence, but that would be once in a while. And I don't feel like that's bad. It feels like a healthy dependence. So I get a sense. Um, so Libra energy here for some of you. Could it be a Libra that you connect with? Um, they may have children or they're a very good parent. Um, they're, this person's all about creation. Okay. They also might um, have a position. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of travel, so they might travel for work. They also might have a position at career where they are um, in maternity or maybe something to do with in the medical field or helping, uh, something to do with mothers as well, okay, or children, newborns as well. I just want to get two more clarifying cards for this. Okay. Yeah, this person, very strong. Um, this person's very, very, very strong. Um, hmm. They're just telling me, and I don't know how this over, uh, surprise pregnancy. I don't know what that, mm, how that would relate to you, but they're they're just saying surprise pregnancy. Um, I feel like this person knows when to turn off the emotions when they're dealing with. Um, overwhelming emotional situations. They're very good at handling um, things that would, they have this composure about them. They're very good at becoming indifferent and apathetic in emergency situations, I'm also hearing. Okay, so the Three of Cups. So um, yeah, I feel like a lot of, this person travels, um, they love to travel and they love to socialize. I just heard the name Tina or Christina. Um, they love to, s okay, now wait, they're giving me another name. Hold on. And it's a female name. Um, oh, Courtney. Now I'm hearing Courtney. Okay. <clears throat> or it could be a last name, McCourt. The word court. Um, okay. Okay. So uh, they travel and they enjoy socializing and meeting others, okay? Um, they have a healthy dating history. Um, I don't, this person also had either proposed marriage in the past or was offered marriage in the past. Um, I don't see that they were actually married, okay? Um, I think there might have been an engagement and it didn't go through or it didn't work out um, because they're not really, uh, it's hard to say that I know that it shows up there, but I don't, they're not giving me anything. I think for some, they may have had someone who um, became pregnant and there was this offer of marriage, but it didn't finalize, okay? For some of you and even if it did I don't feel like it lasted very long okay um, but I'm not seeing divorce so they may there may still be I but I do see someone single okay I'll tell you that right I'll tell you that and I'm just giving the messages and I'm not telling you what to do here <laughs> so let's take a look how will you and this person meet each other this person does very much believe in, like I said, emotional commitment, um, exclusivity, offering their heart, um, offering, uh, making proposal. Um, if that's something that you're looking for, I mean, they're all about that love energy. Okay, so how will you meet each other? Okay, so two of pentacles. Oh, five of pentacles. 
Okay, the star. <clears throat> okay. Now they're giving me a few different scenarios here. Um, some of you are going to meet this person on a ship. <laughs> some of you are going to meet this person at a performance or show of some sort. Um, they're giving me two other scenarios. Some of you are going to meet this person um, in some type of a medical facility, okay, or a holistic facility. Some of you may meet this person in a spiritual community. And I do feel some of you, okay, this is interesting. So uh, they're saying um, if your car breaks down in the snow or you go to get your they're telling me chains on a tire chains on a tire okay uh, i'm just getting that chains on a tire let me see hold on i just want one more clarification okay yeah they're giving me um somewhere where it's cold and snowy but you're inside by fire uh there's a fire i see a place it might be a restaurant or um uh, a, a place you would patronize that has like a fire um, where there's snow outside. <laughs> Sounds very romantic. Um, hold on, you guys. I'm dropping my microphone. Sorry. Yeah, okay. So um, a place maybe where there's drinks, that kind of thing. Um, All right, now we're going to ask what will be the characteristics? Oh, wait, they just said tell them when. Okay, so we have five different dates here, and let me give you the dates. Um, one second. Okay. So for some of you, we'll meet this person sometime in February. Okay. Um, and I know that's a little far off, okay, but it is what it is. There's other dates, so hold on. Um, others of you, hold on. Uh, some of you are going to meet this person, like, pretty darn soon, almost immediately, if you haven't already met them. Okay, um, I'm also getting... Some of you are going to meet this person in April, so that's going to be next year. Um, some of you are going to connect with this person. In June, okay. <laughs> I know there's a lot of dates here, so and they're also giving me, oh, okay. Most of you are gonna connect with this person the week of, uh, they're saying December 22nd through the 30th. So that's gonna be during um, Capricorn season, obviously in the beginning, it's going to be a Christmas during the holidays, okay? All right, now let's move on, okay. What will be the dynamics of this potential relationship for you guys? What will be the dynamics of this person, or of this relationship? Okay, wow, Ace of Wands, amazing. <laughs> this is going to be hot and passionate for sure. A lot of hot, steamy passion. Um, an urgency, there'll be a feeling of an urgency to be together. Okay, uh, all the time, uh, not suffer, uh, not smothering, not obsessively uh, inspiring one another. There is something about this connection where you will both feel like you inspire one another, and be, you know, it's like when you you connect with someone and they you leave feeling like a better person, and vice versa. That's I feel like that will be the characteristic dynamic of this potential relationship. 
also, wow, you get so much fire. I mean, you're just totally on fire. Okay. Confidence, again, uh, feeling secure and self-assured in this relationship. Um, a lot of feistiness between the two, a lot of like, but not bad. It's kind of like some tickle fun. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit of teasing, a little witty banner back and forth. Um, uh, but the, the sense of like confidence, it, it, it's, there's a lack of hypersensitivity. So being able to be playful with one another and having that feisty, maybe even competitive spirit between each other, but inspiring each other to be better. And um, both being so, like, I feel they're telling me, like, super popular to each other, like, just amazing, glowing, um, can't keep their eyes off of each other and be around each other. It's like very, lo it's just, it's beautiful. It's like beautiful. I had, so with the lovers there at the beginning of the reading, I mean, it's obviously you're looking for your partner, you know, um, that healthy twin flame, uh, meeting each other, even just that deep soulmate connection. Um, wow, I love it. Temperance, so balance, beautiful. I mean, just this give and take recipro reciprocity, this sharing, um, taking turns with one another, um, feeling um, just in harmony with each other, this much moderation and a feeling of self-control, being able to trust each other. I mean, this is beautiful as far as like the dynamics of this relationship, the way it, it will go. It feels like two people coming in very secure within their person and then therefore creating a secure relationship okay let me see what else okay and the tower so don't take that wrong you guys because the tower is real life stuff you know um being able to rebuild after any kind of destruction or unwelcome change that could happen in life I feel like you both will not uh, um, there's also a little bit of like keeping each other's egos in check which is great right because that kind of builds trust because that's kind of like saying you know letting each other know that you love each other but you need to step that ego down a little bit <laughs> that kind of thing um it's ego releasing as well in a lot of ways you know because then it becomes real so also any kind of difficulties that you might you both go through um in the future you will both have each other's back because you know in life there's challenges right i don't see uh any kind of change this is like tower energy happens and then growth afterwards we will rebuild uh, we can get through this this is very it just feels like someone are you both having each other's back okay um yeah look in the world so um it's like completion. It's like you guys, I feel like this is going to be like the last time around for you. This is going to be the one that you um, have that settle with kind of energy. Okay. Um, now let me see the potential possible outcome, even though I feel like they're giving you that energy here with the world. Wow. Nine of cups, like wish all your wishes coming true both of you you and this person a lot of it has to do for you virgo with you getting yourself in a position where you become open and vulnerable again and you welcome love into your life um i feel like the outcome of this relationship is you both will be chipping in i see two people chipping in um to make this better to cultivate you know both of you know how i like to say you you both drop a coin in the the relationship coins coin slot it's not one person dropping all the coins in. it's both of you contributing i love this energy i love it okay wow very positive with the sun very very good successful the outcome of this potential relationship screams success 
Okay, let me see if I can tell you a little along the lines of um, who this person might be as far as their Chinese sign coming in. Because, and, and the reason why I'm not, I was, at first I was going to give you the Zodiac, but I don't want to do that because if you meet someone who is of the Zodiac sign, and you don't take the time, like I said in the beginning, to get to know this person, you might jump again, okay? The first card out here is a goat. Um, and we are not talking about your past people. We're talking about new, okay? Now, if a past person shows up in your life and this past person has changed and you've changed and you've both have healed from something that didn't work out is it possible that this could be a renewal starting over because there's been a healing absolutely okay um but that's going to be up to you like to figure out on your own okay let's see what else um but i didn't want to say the zodiac because if i say oh it's it's uh, a gemini which always shows up in the readings. And um, you meet a Gemini who, with your rose-colored glasses on, you think, oh, it's got to be them. You actually could be wrong, okay? And it could be actually the next person in line, and then you miss out, and then you lose time or whatever. So we're just going to look at the Chinese signs. So we have a goat, we have a dog. You have a dragon, a rat, pig. And we have goat again, monkey, monkey again. Whenever I get double confirmation there, take note. Tiger, tiger again, and a rabbit, okay? So let me get you some charms. You can see what else you may know this or recognize this person by. What other... What other Okay, so, all right, interesting. They just said monkey wrench. <laughs> all right, I don't know. Okay, hmm, yes, I do know. At first, I didn't. Okay, this, so, okay, for some, um, I'm picking up an element of, I'm picking up a cornfield, okay? So, wherever there are cornfields that are near you, um, I feel like this person is somewhere near a cornfield, okay? Whether they live there, they're just standing there right now. But there's there, there's either a cornfield or there's a lot of cornfields, okay? Um, I also feel like this person... Okay, they're giving me the name Victor or Victoria. And um, I'm also picking up that this... Okay, that's why they're giving me that, okay? Well, maybe... It might be the name. It might be the name brand. Um, but they're also telling this person wears Victoria's Secret. Maybe that's you. Maybe it's your person. Okay. Um, Victoria's Secret seems to be um, a name brand of, I guess, clothing or intimate apparel that this person, you'll know them by that. That's If you get to that point, you'll know them by that. Um and so we have a wrench here. So this person has tools or they work with tools, okay? Um, whatever and wherever you would use a wrench or you might see them or connect with them if they're holding a, a wrench or doing something. I did say to somebody about, didn't I say to you guys about getting like tires on a chain or fixing a car or something along those lines, okay? So you also have, interesting, okay, you have a starfish. And that is, seriously, the kitty cat back in its butt up into your face. That is exactly what it looks like. I know I'm being disgusting, but I can't help it. That just every time I look at that, that's what I see. Your kitty cat back in their starfish, starfish up into your face. Okay, so there's something to do with um, seashell decor or seaside decor. I'm picking that up. Are they somewhere near the coast where there's like seashells and ships and water um and i did say somebody might connect with somebody on a boat i think i said a cruise or just a boat ship as well 
Okay, there's also two hearts. So I feel like either this person's going to be wearing a pendant around like a necklace pendant or some type of pendant. Could be on a keychain that has two hearts or it's you. Um, and these are also, these are just identifiers. So you'll know as you go. Um, and somebody also has two hearts, like a tattoo of two hearts, okay? And if I'm, if you feel like I'm ident these identifiers are related to you specifically, it's just meaning that this is definitely your reading, okay? It's just more of a confirmation. And then we also have a moon. So there's some kind of an attachment to a, a moon, okay? Um, hold on a minute. And this is going to be... A quarter moon is this a quarter moon or a half moon maybe it's a half moon um or the last quarter the last quarter the last moon quarter okay huh well i'll tell you what for the rest of october the last quarter moon is going to be on october 17th which for some of you is the date you're listening to this that's also boss's day so here in the United States, so for some of you, this could be your boss connecting. It could be your a boss that you you connect with your boss, and and I was just gonna say, and love happens, and there's the pink heart with love. Interestingly enough, the only colors that are showing up here is pink. So maybe they wear Victoria's Secret, Secret pink, or you do um, a queen crown. A heart and a starfish okay all this pink I love it, it, it it's giving me this uh, they're, I mean, they're giving me like pink enamel right which is what these are but something maybe somebody has pink acrylic nails as well that's an identifier for someone and also okay I'm gonna give you a few more of these there's also um, a stringed instrument so there's a connection or an identifier somebody has a stringed instrument whether that's a bass or a guitar or a cello or a violin a banjo a ukulele um, any type of a stringed instrument that either they play or that they just have or there's a connection um, where maybe they're in a musical uh, band or there's they do something connected to music as well okay so we also have a skull and crossbones okay now some of you i will say uh there might be a kind of a halloween thing as well so some of you could have a connection or you might meet somebody at if you go to if then this is not for all of you if you attend a Halloween party, okay, um, a connection possibly around that weekend. So like the 28th, the 29th, the 30th, possibly the 31st, or some type of Halloween event. I feel like some kind of, um, I'm just feeling that skull and crossbones, either somebody is dressed up like a skeleton, maybe there's a child dressed up like that, or some kind of, it doesn't feel toxic, I don't feel poison, or anything like that, they, maybe they're dressed up as a pirate, or they have a flag, or there's some type of thing that you will see that will give you a sign um, that that's the this is the reading like this is okay okay let me go back and listen to this reading save it in your playlist okay because as i said there were some dates that are going to go a little bit further into the new year so keep it in your playlist and come back to it and listen to it every once in a while so you will know okay but if you got any extra or double confirmations in this Definitely save it so that you know, okay, I got to go back and listen to this so that you can follow along and help you to decide and to get to know or find out if this is the potential lover that we're talking about here. Even if it's that past potential lover who shows up with those bloody stumps and is like, okay, we're going to try. I'm ready. Let's, I'm ready to like, here's my leg. It's bleeding. Here you go. Take it all. Maybe they're going to show up like that, like a uh, one-legged uh, person for Halloween and <laughs> I don't even know that's so disgusting I don't even know why I use that as an analogy I mean 
I must have, I do, I'm a Virgo, I have a morbid brain, but I don't watch horror movies, so forget about it, but I'll watch every Jeffrey Dahmer episode, I will, because it's, I'm fascinated with horror, <laughs> but I don't like those cheesy horror movies, I'm just like, this is dumb, it's not even real, give me a real, like, I don't know, surgical operation, let me, show me the real th stuff, I don't know, I'm weird, anyway, I'm gonna leave your reading there, I hope that was fun, I hope you enjoyed it, remember, you know, at the end of the day, like, listen to it, enjoy it, take it with a grain of salt. I feel like you, you know, whatever work that you're doing, Virgo, in your life, on your journey, your healing, some past stuff, whatever's going on, you're in the right place. You're exactly where you need to be. And, and just live your life from a place of love. Don't live your life from a from fear um, because that will always sabotage you always okay so I wish you guys all the best I love you have a fantastic evening and a fantastic day and I will see you all the next time all right take care